Let us pray. Our Father, at this time of profound grief, we do not know how to pray as we ought. But you, O God, who searches the hearts of men, can interpret our sighs, which are too deep for words. We, as a people, as a nation, invoke your healing presence, your comfort, your strength, and your wisdom. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty and everlasting God, thou hast been our dwelling place in all generations. From everlasting to everlasting, thou art God, and we are thy children, creatures of thy hand, spirit of thy life. In the midst of this great tragedy that has taken the lives of our fellow countrymen, we come to thee as naturally as children who are hurt seek their earthly parents for comfort. Hear our prayers, O Lord, and give ear to our cries as we lay the concerns of our hearts before thy throne of grace. Lord, we thank thee for life with all of its mystery and for all of its apparent contradictions that are far beyond our power either to understand or to explain to one another. In this hour when our minds are stunned and our hearts are heavy, help us to trust you with explicit faith as we deal with this tragedy that has befallen us. With grateful hearts we praise and bless thee for these our fallen comrades 
who loved this country and served it with a full measure of devotion, even to the point of giving their very lives. We give thee thanks for each of them and for the contribution to peace that each made and the troubled land in which they served. Grant that we not become bitter or hardened by this crushing experience, but rather that it be used in thy great scheme to bring about the peace toward which their work was directed. Especially now we lift up to thee the families and the loved ones of these who died. May each be provided with the strength and comfort needed to sustain them in this hour of sadness. And help us all to look to you in perfect faith and receive your kind and gracious and bounteous ministrations. These are our prayers we ask in thy holy name. Amen. In the name of President Amin Jemayel and of the government, and in the name of the people of Lebanon, I present warm condolences to President Ronald Reagan, to the government of the United States, and to the American people for the great tragedy that followed the attack on the U.S. Embassy in Beirut on April 18, 1983. I wish to express to you the deep sorrow that we in Lebanon have felt as a result of this crime. The consolation of the aggrieved families is that their loved ones have died in the service of ideas which deserve the ultimate sacrifice. 